It's hard to imagine a time when St. Peter's Square didn't exist. But long before Bernini's column stood high, and long before the Vatican Stone became a hallmark of Rome, pilgrims still visited the area to pray before the tomb of St. Peter. Among the visitors were thousands of Armenians who traveled to the Eternal City to pay their respects. In fact, there was even a welcoming home for Armenian pilgrims. The priest who was responsible for managing this home placed a cross made out of stone at the entrance. It was a cross with a traditional Armenian design. Now, the Vatican Museum has that very cross. Even though the welcoming home closed its doors and everything seemed to disappear, the cross re-emerged hundreds of years later. Armenia's president was there for its unveiling back in September 2014. In addition to the writing in Armenian, there was also a phrase in Latin that read, this cross has been consecrated. Armenia was the first country to adopt Christianity as its official religion. Often its people were persecuted because of it. So this piece is about much more than mere devotion. It's about Christianity, history, faith and perseverance. And so, on April 12th, when Pope Francis celebrates a mass to mark 100 years since the Armenian genocide, part of the journey will come full circle. This cross was placed in an area where Armenians would stop and pray before the tomb of St. Peter. Now, the cross is back in Rome, in the Vatican Museums. On April 12th, Armenians will be here again to honor the martyrdom of victims from the Armenian genocide. The stone dates back to 1246, and it's displayed in the Vatican's Pope Urban VII Gallery, just a short distance from the Sistine Chapel.